Um, I'm going to talk uh, about bubbles. Uh, it's called cavitation. So it's something very similar to boiling, but instead of increasing the temperature, what we're doing, we're decreasing the pressure. And we're doing this by pushing the water through a very, very narrow gap, what you can see here. This is a very high speed video. And uh, the important part is when these uh, bubbles um, collapse, they create very high pressure, very high local pressures and very high local temperatures. They, go, they can go up to tens of thousands of Kelvin. Mm -hmm. and what you can see here actually is the shock waves which are produced during the, the, this process. Um, our research is sponsored uh, extensively by the European Space Agency, the National Agency, and uh, lately by the European Research Council. So um, let's look at the science behind it. So I'm coming from the engineering faculty. So gravitation was many times regarded as a bad phenomenon because it uh, destroyed or damaged uh, water turbines and pumps. And our idea a couple of years ago was maybe we can use this bad part of the uh, of this process to our advantage and, and try to kill bacteria or viruses by it. So in the last, uh, this was maybe seven years ago, uh, it started seven years ago, we've published a couple of, uh, let's call them breakthrough studies. For example, we've shown um, what you can see here, um, inactivation of viruses. Uh, we've uh, eradicated uh, different types of bacteria by cavitation. We even removed pharmaceuticals from wastewater. And the, the final one is uh, we increased the yield of biogas from waste uh, water sludge. Uh, and these studies basically enable us to apply for the European Research uh, Project, project Council Project, uh, where we can really go into the details because the, the, the basic mechanisms are still not known, uh, what goes on in there, so we cannot optimize it. And in the last two years, we published new studies where we really go into details and you can see how, how uh, a single bacteria and single cavitation bubble interact. Also, we are looking how the, 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 the clouds of bubbles interact and we even go to chemistry of bubbles. That's the science behind it. But on the other side, we are not sleeping in terms of engineering. So um, we, since uh, two years now, we filed for three patents. One is already accepted in the US and two other ones are now in the process of obtaining a, 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 an evaluation process. These are EU patents. And uh, we are working on these patents together with a couple of larger companies and a couple of smaller companies, which I cannot disclose at uh, this present time. And the thing is, it goes beyond only water treatment, right? Because first of all, we're treating dirty water by bubbles and we're producing much cleaner water, which goes out of the wastewater treatment tank, for example. But also by doing this, we're also treat, treat, treating the solid mass inside this water. For example, we are removing the heavy metals in it. So you can use this, this uh, for fertilization and we're gaining more, more um, energy out of it. So we can basically close the energy loop of the whole process. And as it was already said, we're also looking at it in situ, soil treatment, medicine, chemistry, and engineering. Thank you.